I'm trying to understand a pretty complicated repo for OpenFold, which is an AI program for predicting protein structures. And I've been finding it really useful to use AI in that. For the first few days of me trying to look through this repo, I was so overwhelmed because every time I opened a file and looked at an important sounding method, it would reference some other file. And then I would go chase that down in that file. And then it would reference something else in yet another file. And I just had no idea where to start and how to start unraveling this whole thing. So then I just took the file that you need to run in order to use the pre-trained model. And I copied and pasted that whole thing into ChatGPT. And I talked to ChatGPT about understanding the different parts of that file. And that was really useful because ChatGPT explained what the main parts of this file were. But the issue was that because most of the code obviously wasn't inside of that file and instead was in other files that were being referenced, it would sort of guess about what each function was doing based on its name and the details that were inside of that file. So then what I did was I spent a day going through the main steps that ChatGPT had talked about and going and trying to understand each of them in turn by using ChatGPT to help me um, chase down the relevant files and then copying and pasting those into ChatGPT and getting it to like understand each of those bits in detail. But after a whole day of doing this, I realized that I'd only kind of understood the very first part of the algorithm, which was the part that deals with the data processing before it goes into the machine learning model, um, which is obviously interesting, but it's not the most interesting part of the code. Like I'd rather prioritize my time to look into the bits that are conceptually interesting, but I couldn't do this with ChatGPT because I was kind of going sequentially through this main file. And so instead, what I decided to do was put basically the entire code base into Claude. So if you have the pro version of Claude, it has a giant context window. Using Claude's Opus model, it's actually possible to upload an entire book and get it to like answer questions about that book. So I figured it would be able to fit this repo in. And even so, it barely just fit, which was kind of surprising. There was a lot of code in there. Um, but once I'd gotten it all in, then I asked Claude to just give me a summary of this entire code base. Where are the main components? What do I need to pay attention to? And it was great. It was like the first time that I felt like I kind of understood the overall picture of what all of this code was trying to do. And it made it so much more approachable to go into specific files and look for specific things kind of out of order. In fact, another thing that really helped here was having this, this picture from DeepMind that visually explains what the code is doing and all of the various steps. And then I compared that with what Claude was saying and I was able to understand, okay, so this file mainly deals with this part of the computation and that part deals with that other part. Having those two things together was super useful because it let me look at the picture and say, okay, well, these are the bits that I don't really understand. And these are the bits where I feel like it's going to do me a lot of good to like really look at the technical details. And so it's worth going into the, the files involved. Whereas some other parts, I'm kind of okay with not fully understanding how they work. So I definitely haven't digested all of this code yet, but so far this method has been way, way more productive than what I was doing at the start of the week, which was just feeling completely overwhelmed and kind of, stuck like I didn't know where to start. So hopefully this helps you too. I'll give you an update about the actual code next week. Thanks.